Hello everyone, this is Mainam from Civil Center and today I am going to show you all the types of footing designs which are possible in the Tecla Structural Designer software. So before we begin, just to give you a basic, very basic idea about the foundation design, uh, basically we have two types of foundation that is the shallow foundation and the deep foundation uh, which are generally used in the buildings. In the shallow foundation we have the pad or the isolated footing, we have the combined footing in places where the columns are close together or in the case of eccentric footings, we have the strap footings in the case of eccentric footings where uh, you know the column is at the end of the boundary and we don't have uh, place in one, one space so we give uh, you know footings you know strap or you know beams to the footings in both direction this uh, design is not possible in tecla this is also not possible in tecla yes these two in the tecla cellar foundation pad and you know mat or rough mat foundation and the isolated footing this is possible in the tecla structural designer software and among the deep foundation these both of these two the pile foundation the raft pile these two are possible in the tecla structural designer software so uh, to begin with we'll start the video before that uh, we'll just revise uh, briefly very uh, that the concepts of uh, foundation uh, what are the factors which affect the foundation we'll discuss very briefly so the governing factors are the bearing capacity of the soil uh, that is the uh, sbcn which can be found by the soil investigation report and uh, you know soil investigation report is usually, usually done by you know uh, drilling bore wells with the help of tripod or with the help of machines and uh, you know it 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 uh, the drilling is done for, for various uh, depths generally it is done up to a, a you know depth of 10 meter at you know very 1 meter or 1.5 meter interval they collect the soil and, and uh, the sbc and the soil properties of each of them uh, if the undisturbed uh, you know soil sample is studied at the lab and then the report is prepared so uh, you know there are uh, user for, from this SBC report at various depths uh, we can uh, we can say we can uh, decide whether we can, we can go for the deep foundation or the shallow foundation if we find a uh, good SBC that is above 150 uh, kilo Newton per meter square SBC uh, up to a depth of uh, 3 meter then we can go for the uh, shallow foundation otherwise we need to go for the uh, you know uh, deep foundation where uh, you know the the depth of the footing is more than the uh, twice the width of the footing we know that now this is uh, this is the uh, there the, are the other factors uh, just to have a you know consideration increase in moisture you know it results in loss of sbc because if the if the moisture increases the sbc uh, you know decreases because of uh, in the soil uh, volume increases and uh, general choice the most commonly used footing is the isolated footings which you can see for the framed structures rcc frame structures and for soil with low sbc or a soil with black cotton soil, the most common type of foundation you see the pile foundations. So you already know that, and you know it can be used as per IS one zero one nine zero four. And if you are using VS code, that that uh, there is a VS code or US code, so there is also a suitable code for that as well. And for closely spaced columns, uh, raft footing may be used if the columns are very closely spaced. Raft footings or mat footings can be used. And for the columns on the boundary line or edges, eccentric or combined footings are used. So now we have a building here. And we're going to quickly make the uh, you know the the things which we uh, can do in the tecla structural design. Before I'm doing everything, go to the foundations and go to your settings here. And in the settings, you just uh, you know go to the foundation parts and just change the uh, whatever the settings which you like. Uh, you re reinforcement layout, you can change the country. Now it's going to be sent to UK, so I'll keep it like that. And uh, here. Uh, you can change the you know reinforcement grade and also the you know size of the bars which you are having and the foundation size uh, controls and the you know, pile control as well you know number of piles uh, pile for pile caps under column this also you can you can control here and um, for the mat footings also the reinforcement layout you can control here uh, you know 10 mm band and 25 mm is connected selector so i'll go for you know let's say 12 and click on ok so like this you can for change for the patches as well patches are usually give, given you know below the uh, columns so you can change be, uh, in the arrangement for the patches as well and also for the other things so these are the basic things you can just click on ok to get saved and after that first of all we'll go for the isolated footing so the, these are the normal isolated footings here we just need to click the very simple uh, you know application in the tecla structure designer and, and generate the drawings very simply as well so we'll see it we we'll just go for the pad based column and just uh, select the entire structure the, the you know that by the using the right click of your mouse you can rotate the model you can see the pad pieces all are the same size so now to design them uh, you can just uh, change this particular value of you know sbc here allowable bearing capacity and also the you know uh, soil unit but these two factors you can change i've taken you know 100 kilo newton per meter square so you can change this whatever you know like suppose it's 150 so you can do this 150 and then you can just click on this uh, design pad basis so when you click on this design pad basis uh, the foundation will be designed automatically uh, in this software itself 
so the footing has been uh, designed here as you can see here the main advantage of uh, you know design of this footings using using this method is that you can generate the drawings also unlike uh, many other software so so uh, suppose you want to generate the drawing you just simply go to this uh, option of your uh, we'll go to the structural option and we'll go to the level that, that is the base base option just double click and the base will open here and after that uh, you know you can just generate the drawings and the footings which are close together you can give the combined footings to them uh, later but now to generate the drawings you can just go to your draw and then your you can go to your option of your foundation layout just click on this option of foundation layout and then click on this ok option and then the drawing will be generated so here is the you know drawing which has been generated it needs some adjustment but we can easily uh, you know change the uh, you know the sizes and the dimension of everything so you can see here the uh, the you know the marks have been given the lengths and have been given and also the reinforcement that is 12 mm bars at the spacing of 170 center to center 150 mm center to center and all the individual sections have been given here of the all the footings and here you will find the footing layout and you need might need to have, make a certain adjustments but you know the footing layout you know are given quite these are almost quite economical and the places where the overlap you can just change it and, and make it uh, you know a combined footing later so you can do this in the tecla structural designer now suppose you want to go for a mat footing uh, what do you want to do mat footing or pile foundation let's say now what do you want to do so for that you just want to uh, select all the footings escape and then select all the footings and make sure uh, press the delete button then make sure you delete on the pad base and not any other uh, anything else just select the pad base and click on ok so once the pad base has been deleted uh, you can then go for uh, the design of the uh, piles so for the piles you have to define the pile first we will go to the uh, option of the foundation and then go to the option of the catalog and the design of piles you have to do manually i'm just showing you how to how to just uh, design a pile I've de i made it earlier so i'll i'll just going to uh, you know create a new one so I'm just going to click on add and then suppose I'm giving here a P2 and you can choose between driven board and CFA piles so normally you go for the driven piles and shape also you can select from circular and square and the dimension or you can give uh, you know the diameter of the pile length of the pile also you need to calculate pile design is not cannot be done here design of piles you have to do manually that is a very easy process and if, if you want we can make a video on that also how to design the piles considering the loads in the structure and now then you will have uh, this uh, uh, next thing there is the pile capacity axial compressive resistance and a tensile compressive resistance you can change as per the soil test report available uh, you can change these things and click on ok and after that you're going to use uh, this and uh, you know you can use any one of this and then click on ok here so uh, here we'll just go here and select the pile cap column so pile cap column is going to be selected and uh, you know you can you can uh, just assign the all the pile caps here like this as you can see like this you can assign the pile caps and just click on design pile caps so the pile caps will be designed the piles are already designed and then you can design the pile caps so pile caps are designed as you can see here these are the pile caps this is designed and uh, similarly for the pile caps also since there are many columns in this structure so there are two pile caps otherwise they you know there can be three pile caps or four pile caps as well at places where it is required as such so now once we uh, you know do it and then we can uh, you know easily uh, decide the particular drawings so for the drawing similarly go to structure b1 and click on draw and then click on this uh, uh, option of foundation layout and uh, just in just click click on this and you need to just change the file name because the same uh, you know file was used earlier so uh, the drawing will open here as you can see pretty quickly it opens and you have the uh, you know layout of your pile caps and the pile arrangement here and there you have the detailed dimensions and you have the reinforcement details as well along with it you will also have you know the uh, other considerations and the total uh, weight of the bars which has been used 16 bars have been used here and the total weight of the bars have also been mentioned so you can do like this this is a pile foundation and if you want to go for the mat footing suppose they're very closely for uh, you know spaced footings and you want to go for a mat footing it's a little bit expensive also uh, but if you want to go for a mat footing then we can go uh, use a do it in this software as well just select the, all this and delete them just click on delete and we're deleting all the pile caps and piles and after that uh, we can go for the matte footing so for going for the matte footings we will just simply go to the structure base that is the 
uh, option here for the rectangular ones it's pretty easy but here uh, since it's not rectangular I'll show you how to do it you just go to foundation and, and you can for rectangular ones you can go for the rectangular but you can select the area in, in, in here and let's start from here and uh, then and then just go up to here and then uh, we'll go from up to here and then I'm just cl clicking left clicking on every uh, single option which which uh, which we are having here and then click on here and then uh, just I uh, can uh, you can uh, we can have a you know since this this particular co uh, you know column is at the end just click on escape and just uh, since this particular column is at the end we can just extend this particular size of the mat uh, so that it, it, it you know, goes at the top as well so because we'll need this and after this we can we can do and now we can do better so again uh, just take the area and uh, uh, we'll start with here here and uh, here and then here and then you can go you know up to uh, you know as per your choice you can go let's go up to here and then here and then here this is the last point so we'll just uh, double click on this point so this is this is our point here you can you can adjust this you can i think we can we could have you know adjust this to this point to here as well uh, we have to do it again so this small adjustments you can do uh, if you want so let's let's do it again just click on delete and uh, this time we'll just do here area once again let's start from here this time and then uh, click this and then 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 click this and the last point we'll just click this point so like this the um, mat footing is made you can give the thickness of the mat footing currently the default thickness is set to 200 let's give to uh, th uh, 300 mm suppose and after that go to structure 3d and after that just select this and uh, you know right click and then design member or it is you know design mats also you can do as you can see that the member has been designed there are some you know uh, you know warnings but the member has been designed 10 mm bars have been used at a spacing of 200 mm well, there are two layers of the reinforcement one at the bottom and one at the top so it is used in this way and uh, if you want to just provide your you know the next thing that is the uh, no, raft foundation that also you can uh, you know do as well for, uh, first of all you need to select uh, this and after selecting this you can just uh, you know click on delete and then you can just select the support and we'll delete the support from here so after deleting the supports, we'll go to the structure base B1, and we'll I will need to since we've deleted the supports uh, in this particular level, we'll we'll provide the uh, found we'll go to foundation and we'll go to the patch column. So in the patch column, we'll, we'll you can patch the columns, and you can change these grid lines uh, you know to a to as per your choice. We want to do three meters into three meters. Let's say you can do it as as is the, as your choice. So patch all the columns. That is some extra you know patches of reinforcement will be provided with all the columns since there are no supports here so you know once uh, you do that and then you can uh, easily provide the piles also so pile you can provide in two ways you can provide the pile array and uh, pile array is just uh, you know the in, in depending on the spacing you can just uh, do the columns of three meter spacing i'm taking uh, for this pile and you can you can just provide this uh, you know pile array spacing in y direction also three meters and provide this pile arrays or so we will give a little bit more spacing and just go for five meters in both the directions and then you can place the piles like this or uh, you can place the ply piles below every uh, you know uh, your your below every every your uh, footing so click uh, you know uh, you know click add another section of mat or finish by selecting any mat at a second time so just click select the mat and uh, you know here uh, if you want to finish it uh, just first the first thing is add mat to selection and then or finish by selecting any mat at a second time so just select this so we'll do the process once again just to give the clarity we'll select the pile array and make the make the settings here just uh, you know just uh, you know select the piles here and after that you know you can to finish it you can just uh, select the uh, piles once again left click and then just uh, you know just select this once again and then it will be selected escape and then you can see the you know in the structure 3d you can see the piles 
which are arranged like this at a uniform depth so there is there, this is one way and, and another way of doing this is that uh, you can just uh, let me just click on control plus Z and you can just go to the structure v1 and go select this pile and you can uh, you can actually you know define the piles you know at the position suppose i want it or below you know every column and i can i can place select the mat like this and like this one by one i can define all the piles by selecting the piles and uh, suppose i'll uh, add another columns and uh, or the sorry pile to the clarity suppose i want to add a pile here i select the mat and then i am adding a pile here and then select the mat and then I'm adding a pile here so like this I can add you know manually as well and I can use the construction lines and you know make more construction lines to you know add piles it at any point which I want so that I have the liberty to do as you can see in the structure 3d two piles I have made three piles I had made uh, but now we'll go for the pile array one so I'll just press ctrl plus z and I'll go for the pile array and uh, we'll keep the default you know 5 meter uh, you know length which we are having and then We'll just click on the structure 3d and check where the piles are done so this is done and after that you can go to the foundations and you can click on the design patches and uh, after this uh, design patches is done you can just click on this design uh, mats so the mats have been designed mat foundation have been designed you can just check on the uh, click on this report for member and you can see the report and in the tension is showing some warning but it is passing so 10 mm reinforcement at a spacing of 200 mm uh, center to center is provided along both the sides here and utilization ratio also you can check so you can increase you know to further decrease the you know s you know thickness also so that also can be done so like this you know you can design the uh, mat footing uh, what uh, we have shown here pad footing we have shown and uh, a mat or raft footing we have shown and then pile footing and the raft pile so these all types of footings which are possible in the tecla we made an effort to you know show you all in a single video if you want videos on any other topic you can comment below and if you like our effort in in providing you know content related to civil engineering uh, and soft uh, civil engineering concepts and civil engineering software you can make sure you like our channel on like our channel because this makes youtube happy and uh, you know encourages our team to make up come up with more content for you thanks for watching have a great and 